CM Sportsnet presents A Season Lost High School Across 2020 Brought to you by Carol Lynx Hello and welcome to A Season Lost I'm Ben Love My guests today are Jeremy Benson Head Coach for Century High School Lacrosse Team Jackson Zimmer and Alex Ellis Who are players for the Century Lacrosse Team I actually played for Winters Mill, and our one of our big rivals was obviously Westminster, but Century was probably right there, even with Westminster. And just to talk about your guys' rivals, who are your biggest rivals? And um, we we'll hear from I, you and, and the players, too, because I know yeah. the players sometimes have different rivals. <laughs> So, so I'll go first. I mean, I, I went to Liberty, so and I coached. I started coaching at Liberty too. Um, when I first started, I was just an assistant there. Um, and I've also coached a lot of those guys that are at Liberty and some that are at South Carroll through uh, Freedom and through Rec. So uh, I do have like a you know uh, uh, an, an idea of what those teams are. So those mean a lot to me that we can win those games. But it's also cool to play against them. I think Westminster. If you're not fighting to try to beat Westminster. Then you know that bat- two-time back-to-back state champs. Then you know I don't know what, what you're doing, but I, I really do believe it, even the Man- Manchester Valley has always given us a good game. I think they're really well coached. Um, there's there's just a the, the but the Liberty South Carroll and then the Westminster I think are kind of our our big uh, games where everyone gets up for. Definitely, and uh, Alex, you go ahead and first on this one. All right. So personally, for me, it was it's either Liberty or South Carroll, just because those guys that I like, those are guys that I grew up playing with and like through Freedom and South Carroll, and because I personally went up through South Carroll's rec program, so I always I grew up playing a lot of a lot of South Carroll kids, and so that was always like the biggest game where I I know a ton of people, so it's just a lot more fun for me. And I mean, I always got up for every game, but just those two games and like specifically really like stood out. Okay, and Jackson. Yeah, I think uh, every game that's in the county is going to be tough. You got to show up to play. But uh, I went through the rec program at Freedom when I was a kid. So I grew up playing against all these Liberty kids. And I've been friends with them, been around them, talked to them. So it's super hard not to mark your calendar when you're playing against those guys. And you really got to show what's up when they play the guys in green. Definitely. That's awesome. Takes me back to the good days. But, uh, so – would you say if you had to put an overall favorite going into the year just based on their past, uh, Westminster would probably be number one? Yeah, I mean, I think I think that's the one that we definitely had circled. I, I, I mean, two years ago we got knocked out by Liberty. You know, I've had I've had some losses that are that are big against South Carroll and stuff. But I mean, if you're trying to compete in the county, you got to win the county, and, and Westminster's won the county. I think three years in a row maybe now. So it's they, they were definitely the big dog. Yeah. So my brother, you may know Bubba Love. That's my youngest brother. Yeah. Uh, so he yeah. played with them um, and all his buddies. They put together a nice team there. Yeah, uh, they, 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 they back years was huge, I mean, for sure. A little disappointed to see him leave the burgundy and silver, you know. Yeah, <laughs> he, we, we played against him his freshman year. He was, at, he was still uh, – it was still over there, so definitely, definitely helped Westminster out a little bit. <laughs> right. We didn't have that convenient rule back in my day. <laughs> right. But right. so, uh, in terms of you guys, this is just a, a spitballing question, Alex. When you, you're LSM, for everyone that doesn't know, that's Long Stick Mitty, and basically, when you go to college. You may be asked to do other things. You may be asked to grab a short stick. But one thing's for sure, you definitely want to get it on the stat line with a goal at some point in your college career. Mm-hmm. What will you pick? Because in college, it's different. So you get a goal song. Anytime you score, they're going <laughs> to pick a song. What would you choose? Oh, what would I choose? Oh, man. Um, that's really hard. <laughs> Mine was Love Shack, you know? <laughs> oh, man. Actually, I don't even know. <laughs> I, I, I listen to so about much it. different music that just gets me, like, hype all the time. Like, I don't have one song that I would choose. Like, honestly, right. if, like, if I did, like, just score, like, score goals, I would have a playlist that I played every song every time. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I like it. 
<laughs> At least you didn't say baby shark. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> it's almost that. It's almost that. Do you have one, Jackson? Uh, so I remember – so I transferred from Loyola Blakefield to Century just this year. But when I uh, – I would come to Century games my sophomore year. I remember sitting in the sands, and I – like, they play their music when they play. And I remember watching Jalen Stanton would go coast to coast, and he'd score, like, an on-the-run, and then you hear Kodak booming, and it was, like, the coolest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> so I think I'd probably go with – I was thinking this year if I had one, I was going to go run this town. Some old Jay Z would have been oh, a really yeah. cool one. I like it. You might be able to save that. That's still a good one. It's never yeah. going to last. Uh, that's oh. cool. Did you have one coach when you were playing? <laughs> no, I did not. I had <laughs> I had one assist in college, and I I didn't even leave the box. I chucked it all the way across the field. Did an <laughs> open attack, man, and, and that's how I got my one college assist. <laughs> there you go. So, um, really, guys, I really wanted to thank you for joining us, and thanks for everyone for watching. Um, really wish you guys well this season. Hopefully there is going to be a sweet season. Even if it's uh, something where it's just the county or a shortened season, take advantage of it. You're never going to get these opportunities again to play against your friends. So enjoy it, good luck, and keep working because you know that half of the people out there aren't working. They're not putting the work in. So you just beat, beat that way every single day, and I guarantee you, you'll get to where you want to be. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I appreciate it. More, man. Work, work hard. That's all you can control. Work hard. When your opportunity comes, you got to take, take advantage. And that's what, luckily at Century, we got a lot of guys. These are two guys that, Nothing's promised, and they're working their tails off for college and Jackson for one more year. And the options, trying to get as many options as you can to play in college and just work hard, and everything will work out from there. Exactly. Do your part. All right, guys. Thanks so much. Thanks, everyone else, for joining us. Stay safe.